Hi guys, this is Miss Wilson. I'm on the junior English team. So I might not be your teacher, but I'm going to talk to you all today about a project that everyone in junior English is working on right now. And we are going to start writing some blogs. So an important step, excuse the bell, an important step before you begin to write anything is brainstorming. So we're going to get some ideas out of our heads and onto our papers. And we would like you to follow along with this video while we are brainstorming. So attached to this assignment, you also have a copy of blog writing. So this is your own copy. This is where you are going to do your work. So on slide three, it says, what are you passionate about? List 10 things. So you can see on my slide some of the things I listed. Teaching, being a mom, reading, baking, scrapbooking writing, mental health, home improvements, parks, meal planning. Those are just some things that I'm really interested in right now, uh, things that I am working on in my professional or personal life. So I want you to pause the video, and I want you to work on slide three. And once you've listed 10 things, come back to the video. All right, welcome back. So you've come up with a list of 10 things. Now I need you to narrow that list down into five. So on slide four, so you all on your copy, slide four is blank. You're going to narrow your list of 10 down to five. And I want you to list them in order. One is the most passionate. So you can see my list says being a mom, teaching, reading, scrapbooking, baking. In order, that is what I would be most to least passionate about from things that I am interested in. Go ahead, take a minute and do that to your own list and then come back. Great. Now that you've done that, you are going to make a web for each of your topics. I'm going to model for you how to make a web. You only have to make a web for your top three. In your copy, I went ahead and shared um, web templates for each of your topics just because I didn't want, excuse the bell, I didn't want you all to be worried about the web part, but it's really easy to add uh, circles if you want. You just use the line tool. You draw out, you use the circle, shapes, circle, and you can add a circle if you feel like you need to add more circles. To write in each of the webs, you will need to add a text box. So here I am, my center web should be, so I'm going to add my text box. My center, my center web is my topic. So the thing I'm passionate about, number one, was being a mom. So I'm going to put being a mom. And then I'm going to give myself about a minute to fill out my webs. And not every circle has to be complete, or you could have more circles. But what are those different topics? So I have, for example, I have three kids. Okay, not a hashtag. I have three kids. And my three different kids um, are Matthew. So I'll give Matthew his own bubble. I'll give Chandler his own bubble. And then I'm going to create another circle, and I'm going to give Lincoln his own circle. So another thing that I might have done if I was writing this or paper, I might even go back and do is I might add their ages. Matthew's 12, Chandler's 9, and Link is 3. So those are things that I think about that um, when it comes to being a mom that are important to me right now. Another thing... Um, about being a mom that I am looking or thinking about is the schooling of my kids. So right now my kids are BCA students. So being a mom, I'm also monitoring their school. What else do I think about when I think about being a mom? I think about different activities to do with my kids. So one of the activities that we really like doing uh, together is going to the park. So I might make that a web, going to the park. Another thing that all of my kids like doing um, is going to the zoo. So I could add that as a web. Do you all see how, what I want you to see is how being a mom branches off into all these different aspects. Um, and I could keep going and filling out these bubbles. But I only want you to spend about a minute on each one. So what you'll do next is you'll put your second topic here. So my second topic um, was teaching. So I will 
make a bubble for teaching. And I'll do the same thing that I just did for my outline of being a mom. So I want you all to go and do that now on your slide for your top three and then come back to this video. So pause now, go and do that and come back. All right, guys, welcome back. Now that you have completed your webs, you are going to complete two quick writes. So which webs did you get the fullest? Which webs did you um, think of the most ideas? Those are the two I want you to write about. So for quick write number one, whichever web you completed the most, you're going to take five minutes. Use the honor system. Time yourself. Try to write for five minutes just about that topic. Expand past those one or two word responses from your webs. So you can see in my example, this was a true quick write. I wasn't as concerned about spelling or my typing. I just wanted to get as many words on my page as I could in five minutes. And that's what I encourage you to do too. So you have to do that for two of your webs. It's going to take you about 10 minutes. Pause the video and come back. Great. Now that you're back, what you're going to do is you should be on slide 11. Which two do you think that you could write more about? Answer here. This should say which one. I'm sorry. I'll fix that right now. Which one do you think you can write most about? So what I want you to do is go ahead and narrow it down. What do you think you're going to write most about based off of your quick writes, based off of your bubbles and answer here. So you'll go ahead and you will have your topic selected. After you've selected your topic or after you've worked through this process, you might decide that you didn't like any of the first things you picked. So you should repeat the steps if you get stuck. Brainstorming is a process. You can always come back to it. The last thing that I want to talk to you all about is what's your blog going to be? So now I have this topic, where do I want to go with it? And that's what we kind of want you to start, just start thinking about. So what are some blogs? Some blogs are reviews. So if you're really passionate about foods or restaurants, maybe you're writing a review of different restaurants or movies. Uh, it could be tutorials or how-to guides. Let's say you are a really good, like I like to scrapbook. So maybe I would do a how-to guide on different types of scrapbooking pages each week. Maybe you're really into do-it-yourself or home improvements. You might, you know, blog about a different home improvement project each week. Maybe it's interviews or profiles. It could be news. It could be resources. It could be frequently asked questions about a very specific topic to you. So we were just doing this activity to start brainstorming. I hope you came up with some great ideas. If you have any more questions about blogging or coming up with topics for blogs, be sure to reach out to your specific English teacher. Thanks for following along with me. Bye.